I don't know if you're keeping up with your pizza box news, but a couple of weeks ago, word came out that Apple Computers has invented and patented their own pizza box. And everybody was a flutter. The entire media, as far as I'm concerned, was talking about this damn pizza box. And I'm excited to say I have a pizza box, an Apple pizza box with me. And I figured I should go over some of the finer points about it and let you know the ins and the outs and the great things and also the downfalls of the pizza box. So the first thing you may notice is it is round, okay? Now a round pizza box is exciting. People always ask me, why is a pizza round and the box is square and then you cut it into triangles? What's up with that? My easiest answer for that is, it really is simple geometry and with the way that pizza boxes are usually made where they're squares, it's because they can be printed easily, flattened easily, and not to mention folded easily. This thing doesn't get folded. This thing comes compressed. It's already produced. It's already made. It's one piece. That's it. So uh, round pizza boxes also have one major downfall, which is that if the pizza is slightly larger than the circumference of this box, it doesn't fit. With a square pizza container, you can fold up the sides a little bit. It doesn't really work that way with this. Uh, also, round pizza containers are nothing really new. Uh, in fact, Brazil has had them for over 10 years. This is a round pizza container from Brazil. Um, in my opinion, not as good as this Apple box because it's just straight up paper. The Apple container is compressed fibers. Um, but there are some similarities actually, which is pretty interesting. This is what the Brazilian container looks like. It's two pieces, kind of a pain. You gotta kind of fit them together like this. But one thing that it does have is it's got these kind of ridges on the base, which are supposed to promote airflow. And this Apple box also has those ridges. The idea is to prop up the pizza so that air can flow, so that moisture can escape and it won't stay soggy. So the Brazil box doesn't have any ventilation at all. The Apple box does have ventilation in the lid. The lid's got these, I don't know, eight, eight vent holes and they're cool vents because they're right toward the center of the pizza where most of the moisture collects. Unlike pizza boxes that usually have moisture escape in the corners where you don't have a lot of built up moisture. So that's a pretty cool thing about this box. You also have this wavy situation going on here, which I'm not exactly sure what that's meant for. Maybe it's, um, see my thought is that when you stack another box on top of this, you block all these vents, but maybe there's a way that they don't really get blocked. I don't know, I only have one of these, so I don't exactly know. But um, I'm also thinking that these don't stack very well at all because the top of this is grooved in a way that's very different from the bottom. This is meant for lonely people, you know? And I don't know if people who work for Apple are lonely. Maybe you go back and you work in your bubble, or I don't, or however it works. Um, but maybe this is just meant for like, I go to, oh, and by the way, I should mention, this is really only used at, on Apple campuses. It's not like Apple is selling this to pizzerias. This is something that is like, you work at Apple, you go get a pizza in a little cafeteria, you bring it back to your desk, and then you eat it, okay? And it's, there you go. Um, made from recycled materials. All right, cool. Please compost. Cool. Ah, but I would be re remiss if I did not point out another circular pizza container um, that has caught my attention recently, which is from one pizza company, a place in Mount, out of Mountain View, California called Zoom. And this is the Zoom Pizza Capsule. Um, so similar to the Apple Box, it's round. Okay, that's exciting. But unlike the Apple container, the Zoom is two pieces, okay? Which could be good, it could be bad, depending on your situation. But once you stack one on top of the other, it does lock into place. There we go, there we go. It does lock into place because you have these little bubble guys that go in with these little quarter circles. So that's very exciting. The Zoom box also has room for moisture to escape. It also has puddling section in the center and these grooves along the edge. And the pizza could be cut in the box without hurting the box because you've got these little divots. In fact, it might even make the cuts better. I don't know, I've never cut a pizza in this container. Uh, this, like the Apple box, is made from compressed fiberboard. I think this is compressed sugarcane fiber. This is 
uh, I'm not even sure exactly. I've read more specs on this one than I have on this one. Uh, but both really interesting, and they both point toward some serious attempts at the evolution uh, of the pizza container working our way, maybe away from the square containers. So there you have it, some round pizza containers from Brazil, from Zoom Pizza in Mountain View, California, and from nearby Cupertino, um, the Apple pizza container. So pretty interesting stuff. Um, I have a lot more pizza box information, other videos, and of course I've written an entire book about pizza box, it's for art and technology called Viva La Pizza, The Art of the Pizza Box. You can get that wherever the finest books are sold, including the internet and your favorite independent bookstore, of course. So, let me know if you find a cool pizza box. I would love to add it to the collection of over 1,300 pizza boxes that I have about 20 feet from where I'm sitting right now.